What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Amp Capo up in here, uh, Black Adonis Games, uh, working in the engine today, uh, Unreal Engine. Um, I just wanted to show everybody how to do something that I ran across once, and I'm not sure if people know how to how to do it. So I'm just going to show you. I imported this building here. Um, <clears throat> I'll credit the artist uh, when I'm in my project, um, but it's awesome here awesome asset but if you go inside of it you see that it's hollow and you're seeing through it and if you look through the windows you see through the other side outside and all that sort of stuff in other words it has one side it's kind of meant to be a background prop even though it's nice enough to be an actual prop so I'm gonna show you how to fix that okay first thing is which I've already done you got a clone so we're gonna clone this and once you clone it you're gonna go into the mesh open it all right and then if you see in here it's the exact copy it is hollow on the inside as well so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the mesh editing tool and if you have LODs on uh, now will be the time that you want to locate LOD 0 take it off auto it only works if you're in LOD 0 and go to edit mode you'll see it select here and then basically what you want to do is select back faces and this is single select mode as you can see you can select singles and hold control and <clears throat> like you would normally do but then you also have this method here where you can select material so anything with that same material will be selected um, and then you also have one called element which is just that particular element of the piece that will select so it allows you some pretty cool options um, today what I'm going to be using is going to be material so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all that material and then I'm going to hold down shift and select all of that material like so okay and then you do see you have these other materials here so you could go in and select those and literally just try to get everything that has an outside you don't have to do the glass um, but anything that you think would affect your inside I'm just doing everything just to do it I literally didn't do everything when I did it the first time but um this should hold pretty good um, you're not going to be inside any of the other parts then you just want to press flip and then when you click on this you're going to see that it looks a little different now now all of these pieces are have been flipped to the inside and the way I'll show you is we'll get out of this and what I'm going to do is bring another one of these in so bring it here and the original was five times bigger so I'm just going to copy the five just make sure that you have it locked and I'm just gonna move it here so you can take a look and let me get my camera driver uh, pilot here and as you can see it is gutted but now you have this shell so basically all you have to do here now is click on your original and the location you just want to right click there next to location press copy click on your insides and you want to click I think I might have messed that up let's do it one more time just for safe copy and then you want to click on this one and you want to go in here and you want to click paste and you'll see it should go right to where the other one is you just want to make sure rotation everything is exactly the same so now if we go and we look through the window look at that voila and there's some other little pieces and imperfections like this and these are all things you could clean up um, you can actually delete things that you don't need and um, things of that nature 
also I mean it's a prop I may have a prop that just covers this up or whatnot but the beauty is that it actually is closed in now so now this is a usable piece that you could use up in your game so that's some fire shit right so I just wanted to show y'all that and um Hopefully it'll help some people out there because it definitely helped me. Um, it makes these props a lot more user friendly and um, it does an excellent job of reskinning. Now, if you see you have these surfaces like these, I would just go in and it's because these are right exactly on top of each other. So that's going to make it have that little bit of where, where it's glitching. You can see where it's glitching they're literally side by side so what I'm going to do I'll try this and see if it works is go to one of these and just move it slightly like that so it's not right on top of each other but just move it so it's slightly off from the other one and it should fix that problem um, you can also go in and delete <coughs> uh, things you don't need or clean them up reskin them smooth them there's a lot of other things you could do, but that literally will solve that problem with it. The mesh is being right in the exact same place. You just go and just slightly move it over. It won't be enough for, your, for anyone to notice with their eye and you're good to go. So that's it. That's how you do it. Um, like and subscribe to the video and um, check out more videos with your boy uh, Am Capo and uh, Black Adonis Games. Uh, see y'all next time. For real.